Hello, my name is Jasmine and I work for Family and Community Services at Strathcona County. The team that I'm a part of is a team that focuses on mental health and mental wellness. I want to wish you a happy Seniors Week and thank you so much for the important role that you play as a senior within our community. Today I want to spend a few minutes talking about taking care of our mental health in the midst of change or stressful and upsetting situations. There is no doubt that there has been a lot of change over the past few months with the COVID-19 pandemic. Some of you may be experiencing a great amount of change to your daily routines if you were in the opportunity um, or place of ability prior to the pandemic of being able to be active in the community. Others of you may have been feeling isolated prior to this pandemic and may be now experiencing a greater sense of isolation as families, facilities, and governments have put greater restrictions in place to protect you during this time. Change can bring up a lot of emotion, including feelings of fear, frustration, confusion, anger, or loneliness. And there may be other challenges that you have experienced as a result of the physical distancing restrictions. This may include difficulty getting groceries or medication, struggles with having limited access to technology, um, or trouble using technology. These are just a few to name. It is important to remember that during these times when we are so worried about our physical health and stricter rules are put in place, that our mental health is also important and affected. Mental health is something that we all have and it is just as important as our physical health and safety. So today I have a few tips or reminders for you to make sure that you are able to take care of your mental health during this time. The first tip is to connect with friends and family. Even a phone call, a text message, or any form of communication from someone you care about can provide comfort and connection that helps you to cope with challenging times. The second is to accept your feelings, which requires us to first acknowledge how we're feeling. So perhaps try writing down your emotions into words. And if you find some words that describe how you're feeling, don't judge yourself or label yourself for it, but just work through accepting that that is how you're feeling. The third is to maintain a sense of a normal schedule if possible. So being mindful of getting rest, eating regular and balanced meals, and trying to keep yourself busy with hobbies or activities that um, you can do well while remaining physically distant. The next is to be kind to yourself. So engage yourself in self-care activities or activities that, that make you feel good um, and relax you. Give yourself permission to feel upset or try writing in a journal if you're struggling with, with some of those emotions. And whatever you choose, try to extend yourself the same kindness that you would give to someone else and give that to yourself instead. So often we um, are hard on ourselves, but we're willing to be kind to those around us or accept that other people are struggling or feeling a certain way, but we struggle to acknowledge that we also are just feeling that way. And lastly, realize that those around you are also under stress. Everyone responds differently to um, stressful situations and they all have different ways of coping with these, with these things and different strategies. So especially as we go into a season of some of the restrictions being opened and, and lifted, um, remember to realize that those around you are also struggling and that that's okay for them to struggle or feel different, differently than you might. Having some of these tools and strategies to cope when faced with challenging circumstances helps us to care for our mental and physical health and also helps us to model um, taking care of ourselves to other people so that they can also know how to use these approaches. So perhaps there's someone in your family that you can model this to. Perhaps your neighbors will see you taking care of yourself in some of these ways, maybe getting out for a walk or sitting on your balcony or that kind of thing um, and just allowing yourself to feel what you're feeling. With all that being said, there are times when we are struggling and when we need to reach out for help and that is okay. Family and Community Services is available to support you by phone seven days a week. So whether you're feeling like you need support to meet some of your basic needs, um, whether you have questions or you're feeling emotionally distressed, please call our number. It's 780-464-4044 and we would love to talk and support you. More resources or information can also be found at strathcona.ca slash wellbeing. So again, happy Seniors Week. I hope that you will take some time to take care of your mental health and do something that makes you happy and practice being kind to yourself.